back in the kitchen today and I'm gonna make a recipe called Cheddar Ale Biscuits. And it's a recipe that I actually found on TV on a show called Farmhouse Rules. And I made these about three weeks ago and I really loved them. And I realized that they taste exactly like the biscuits that you get at the Red Lobster restaurant. So the ingredients that you're gonna to need today are flour, baking powder, baking soda and salt, butter, cheddar cheese, buttermilk, and beer. And I will have the recipe at the end of the video for you so you don't need to write anything down. So let's get started. Before I start with my ingredients, I'm gonna line my baking pan with parchment paper. And the pan is, um, just for reference point, it's 17 by 11. I'm gonna set that aside and preheat my oven to 425. Okay, so I'm gonna start with two and a half cups of flour. To the flour, I'm going to add a tablespoon of baking powder. A half a teaspoon of baking soda. And you'll actually see on the recipe that I printed out from the Food Network that they show a quarter of a teaspoon, but when I originally saw the episode, it called for a half a teaspoon of baking soda. And then I'm going to do one teaspoon of salt. And it, the other thing is on the recipe, you'll see it says two teaspoons of salt. But when I made these a couple weeks ago, they were too salty, a little too salty for me. So I'm reducing that to one teaspoon. So I'm just going to whisk those together. To the flour mixture, I'm going to add a half a cup of butter or one stick. And I'm going to cube it up. And I usually buy the organic butter at Costco. It's pretty affordable and I just feel more comfortable eating the organic butter. So I'm going to just cube this up and I'm going to add it to the flour. I have my butter cubed. And I'm going to put it into the flour mixture. And I'm going to use my pastry blender to blend the butter into my flour mixture. And this is a little on the tedious side. So I just take my time and put it in there. Now you can use a food processor if you'd like. Um, I just don't like to pull that out unless I absolutely have to. So the butter kind of collects inside. So periodically I'll just clean it off and keep blending. So when I get this all blended, I'll meet you back here. I have my butter incorporated into the flour mixture. And the recipe does say to work it in with your hands, and I, you can do that. I just didn't feel like getting my hands all messy today. That's why I used my pastry blender, but either one is, works beautifully. And I have a cup of cheddar, and I pretty much packed that in there. And to that, I'm going to add a cup of buttermilk. And you always want to use a liquid measuring cup when you measure your liquids. And I'm just going to use that same measuring cup to measure the beer. And you need a half a cup of beer. And don't throw your beer away, you can drink that later or while you're baking. You can kind of see that chemical reaction there. And you just 
Fold them together, don't over mix. And I'm going to keep combining and then we're going to be ready to put them on in the pan. I have them all in the pan. You can see they look a little on the messy side, but that's okay. And they will bake into each other a little bit. I'm going to put the oven at 425. I'm going to check them at 20 minutes. Here they are, out of fresh out of the oven, and I did bake them for 23 minutes. And you can see how they did bake a little bit into each other, but that's okay, just do one of those. And I like to put a little bit of melted butter on top. You don't have to, there's a lot of butter in them anyway. And a little bit of, depending on what you're gonna serve these with, um, a little bit of garlic powder or garlic salt. This is just garlic powder. And I'll give them a quick taste. And I don't know if you can hear that, but they're very crispy on the outside. I hope you give this recipe a try. They're really delicious biscuits, and they go well with salad, soup, or stew, or just about anything. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.